We don't know yet how widely it's spreading. And we certainly don't know the extent of the problem. Swine flu started in Mexico and by late April had spread throughout the world. If I were getting on the boat, I would think twice about getting off in Mexico. Quickly followed by outbreaks in schools. We now know of hundreds of students who were sick. Shocked by the number of children dying from the virus, some schools closed in an effort to prevent it from spreading. We heard from our nation's leaders. Some messages were clear. This is obviously a cause for concern and requires a heightened state of alert. Others confusing and quickly and I disputed. I, I wouldn't go anywhere in confined places now. Another message was drilled into our heads over and over. Hand hygiene is vitally important. Soap and then water. Practice washing your hands with Elmo. Wash, 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 wash. And hand sanitizers flew off store shelves. I would say that people should use it several times a day. When getting in the car after the park or wherever. Yeah, I always have it there. It soon became clear the virus was transmitting quickly from human to human, leading officials at the World Health Organization to declare a pandemic. Cases dropped over the summer and manufacturers made progress on an H1N1 vaccine. We still feel we're on track to have a vaccine ready by mid-October. But as soon as school started again, swine flu cases jumped. Widespread outbreaks caused hospital overcrowding and isolation. I feel like just terrible, awful. But still, more deaths. The flu killed my baby. <laughs> By the beginning of October, cases reached record levels just as the first doses of vaccine arrived. First in line were high risk groups. Vaccine was scarce, forcing many to wait in long lines. The line has not moved and it's hot and they have pregnant women in the heat. Doctors' offices were inundated with calls, especially after new CDC estimates found over 4,000 people had died from the virus. Everybody's asking me, where's the flu shot? When am I going to get it? To be honest with you, we almost make up dates. We're like, we don't know. Despite the high demand, many questioned the safety of the vaccine, putting the CDC on the defensive. We have cut no corners. By November, cases started going down. More vaccine was made available, and just in time for Santa. They should get the shot, not, not so much as to protect the Santa, but to help protect the public. Cases continued to decrease well into December, yet experts warn we're not out of the woods yet. Tracy Potts, NBC News, Washington.